Hi, how is everyone? I hope y'all are all having a fantastic day today. Um, I wanted to share with y'all some great new things that I have found at Dollar Tree, um, of course. So we will just um, jump right in. I do want to apologize if I seem rushed or if it seems dark. There's a huge storm um, coming in, so I was trying to get these videos done uh, before that happens. So anyways, um, the first thing I wanted, I've been meaning to show these in my last few um, Dollar Tree videos, but I keep forgetting because they're in my freezer. So I actually remembered today, um, and I don't know how new these are. I really... Um, didn't check the freezer section just real often. Um, but I did a few weeks ago and I found these um, snaps. They're loaded potato sticks. There's the cream cheese pepper bites and mac and cheese bites. And I have also tried the broccoli and cheese bites. Um, I think that's, yeah, that's the only other one is the broccoli cheddar bites. So, I just wanted to show y'all these if y'all have been curious, haven't tried these. These are so, so good. We just throw them in our air fryer and it doesn't take but like 10 minutes and they're just really good, quick snack. So, I just wanted to share those with y'all because I've really been enjoying them. So, a couple more food items that I have found are these Snickety Bold Buffalo Baked Fries. There's these. And I haven't tried these yet. Um, I just bought them, so we'll see. But I love um, buffalo style flavors, so those sounded good to me. And then also they have this new popcorn, which I thought looked delicious. This is from Jolly Time, and this is confetti cake. And this is a really good size um, bag. It's probably full to about right here. And they did also have... Um, Oh, it says right on the back, sea salted caramel, Belgian waffle, and snickerdoodle. So, um, I didn't see the snickerdoodle. I think I would probably like that one. But anyways, I love anything birthday cake flavored, so I thought that I would really like that. And then I also found this stir fry sauce from Kikoman, and this is the brand that I buy for everything, for soy sauce, any kind of um, teriyaki sauces. Um, and these are normally three, four, five dollars in Walmart. So this is something that I have used before um, and that I really, really like. So if y'all find these, um, grab a few because it, it's really good. Um, okay, so I also found this um, new tea. It's blueberry and honey. And I love hot tea. So I thought that I would try this. I figure I will probably like that. And a couple more food items here is um, these little granola bites. These are from Sherwood. These are two and a half ounces. There's quite a bit in here. This one just says chocolate flavor. And this one is cinnamon. Same brand and um, same size bag. So I thought that those would be really good. You could just, you know, pop them as you're working or whatever i thought that would be a great snack and let's see also i bought and i don't know if this is new either i just happened to notice it this is a huge 26 ounce can of los palmas chipotle peppers in adobo sauce there's this right here and i can't say that i have ever um cooked with these before but i see them use these on the Food Network all the time. So I thought that it would be fun. Sometimes it's fun to go to the grocery store and just find an ingredient that maybe you've never used before and find a recipe around that. So I'm just gonna look up um, on one of my apps, you know, recipes with Chipotle peppers and see if something um, catches my eyes. So I thought that was a really good deal for that huge can. Okay, so next we have, oh, I did buy, um, in one of my previous videos, I had found one of those um, furry pillows in the teal. Well, I finally found it in this really light pink here. I thought it was really pretty. Um, and I do have a new rescue dog, and we did finally make uh, or decide on her name for Riley. And I just thought that this would look really cute in her um, little bed. So I bought that for her. 
And then I found these really pretty mermaid, well, two are blue glitter, and then one's kind of, um, looks like mermaid scales, um, fingernail files. So they're just black on the other side, but I thought that those were really, really pretty. Um, I might use them myself, or they're perfect to just throw in, you know, a goodie bag, just a little extra and a gift, or stocking stuffers, stuff like that. So I thought those were really pretty. And I finally found some of these mermaid tail um, trinket trays. So I bought the pearl white and the gray here. Um, I have found the little um, mermaid tail figurines, but this is the first time that I finally found the trinket trays. And I just love all their trinket trays. I don't know what I could ever do with all of them, but I always buy them for some reason. Okay, and then um, before I had bought some of these in the olive oil, um, they had Betty Boop, and what was the other one? Oh, the Ghostbusters. And um, so I went ahead and grabbed the last design that I have seen, and this is Mighty Mouse. I thought he was super, super cute, and he was the only one left, so I think that's probably why I went ahead and grabbed him. And then I found this really pretty picture. Um, it's very plain and simple, and that's kind of what I like. It's kind of a shadow box, if you can see. And it just has a feather and says, keep it simple. And it's just got a plain um, gold frame. So anyways, I thought that this was really, really cute. They had a couple of different designs, but I really liked this one with the feather on there. Let's see, okay, I found, as strange as this is, I found a lot of things in the like medicine section. So this first thing is um, from TheraCare Pain Therapy. This is Targeted Warming Capsaicin <laughs> Heat Patch. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. This is for the back and large areas. There's two patches in here. Um, so that's what it looks like right here. I hadn't ever seen one, um, this big, but my boyfriend, um, complains of his shoulder hurting a lot. So I thought that maybe this would be helpful. I don't know if it's something that you can like just put on and then go to bed. But anyways, I thought that I would at least let him try that and see if it helps at all. And I finally found some of this Mucinex that I have been seeing everyone haul. We finally got some in um, one of my Dollar Trees. So I bought two boxes of this. This is the Mucinex Sinus Max. And this is for severe congestion and pain. And this is, um, let's see, there's 16 liquid gels in here. So I don't, I'm not exactly sure how much these are, but I know this Mucinex is really expensive. Um, it does expire August 2019. Otherwise, I would have bought, you know, a ton more. But um, anyways, I just thought that that was a great deal. So I bought a couple of those. And then they also had it um, in congestion and headache. And this one has 16 liquid gels as well. And the last Mucinex item is the children's um, cold cough and sore throat. And this is going to be the liquid. So there's that. Um, and I did see a couple other kinds um, in the children's Mucinex, but I just grabbed that one. And also these Halls Defense. There's 14 drops in here. There's 225% daily value of vitamin C. So it's support for your immune system. I hadn't ever seen these before. And I think it's kind of like, you know, the airborne and stuff like that just really, you know, overloads you with vitamin C. So maybe if you feel like something might be coming on, start taking some of these and maybe it could prevent it from, you know, really getting sick. So... I thought those would be great to have on hand. Um, also, I found these Care Bear Band-Aids, which are just so stinking cute. And I'm just, you know, I'll just tell y'all the truth. I only have one, one daughter and she's 19. I don't have any little ones around, but 
I just really love the Care Bears. And so if I cut myself, I'm the one that's gonna be using them. So I just thought that they were really cute and I hadn't seen the Care Bears before. So I grabbed those. And let's see, the last thing in that department is this Liquid Skin, the Better Bandage. Um, it says for minor cuts, cracks, and abrasions. So it's just a little tube like that. But this is perfect. Um, you know, if you get a cut somewhere that it's hard to keep a Band-Aid on or something like that, or you're going to be getting your hands wet a lot, this stuff is so perfect for that. So I was glad to see this at Dollar Tree. I mean, you hope that you don't need it, but if you do, it's great to have on hand. Um, okay, so I didn't really find too much in the crafting section this week. Um, just, I, I always buy these little um, wood shop bird houses and um, I think sometimes they have like an airplane and some other things and um, this one I might actually make and use as a birdhouse but I was just going to show y'all that because I just always keep these on hand you know if you need just a little small piece of wood for something these things are um, perfect to have lying around and then I found these really pretty butterfly die cuts there's 32 in here and this is like a blue, green, teal. They also had like a, like yellow, brown, amber type colors. And then I think the other one was like purples and pinks and stuff like that. But I really liked this color and that is just a great deal. You can do all kinds of crafting projects with all these butterflies. And then I also found, which I'd never seen before, this is from Main Street Wall Creations. This is a removable wall tile. Now, I don't know that it's that great of a deal because you do only get the one single wall tile. However, I have some um, lo um, long pillar candles and I thought that I might be able to, like just the bottom of the pillars, you know, split this in half and wrap it around and I thought that that could make for a really pretty candle. So I just brought, bought one. I'm not sure how well it will work, um, but I thought that the design was really pretty. So I grabbed one of those. And let's see, a few storage items. I found this um, two pack of these Sure Fresh. It's um, just these containers and the lids, but what I really, really liked is that it's a twist top lid. And I just think that that, you know, if you put liquids in here, you don't have to worry about it spilling out. I just think it's much more secure like that. So I was glad to, glad to find these. And they actually um, also have measuring um, markers on here. I don't think you can see it just real well, but it does on there. So I, I, will, I know that I will use those for sure. And then I also found this glass bowl. I had never seen these before, but this one comes with a pop top lid. So this will be great for leftovers, something that you need to reheat, and then it's already got the lid right there with it. So I grabbed a few of those. Let's see, just a few more things. Oh, I found a couple of candles this week. I thought these were really pretty. There's a Karma and a Zen. And they're in the frosted white glass. Um, this one is frankincense and vanilla. And it does smell really good. It's just a really light scent. So I don't think if you burn it, you know, it's really going to put off um, that much smell. This one is white ginger and amber. And yeah, see, this one is just really light as well. But I really like the um, containers. So... Like I always say, I'll burn all the candles and then I'll always reuse the jars for something. So I really liked those. And you know, they had those frosted black ones a few weeks ago. So these match really well with those. I also found, I had never seen these before and I thought they were so stinking cute. There's 200 pieces in here. This is nail graffiti. And I really hope that you guys can see there are, um, these are all different kinds of fruits. So there's kiwi, strawberry, watermelon, bananas, um, apples. I love making little mini things, um, little bird houses and things like that. 
So I thought, I won't use these actually for my nails, but I thought that these would be really great for some crafting projects. So, and you can't beat 200 pieces for a dollar. And then also, um, there were just all of these little tiny beads, just in all different colors. These were the only two designs that I found, um, but I just thought that those were really cute and could really come in handy. Okay, so the last few things, I think I've said that like five times, and then I realized something's under something else. Um, okay, so I found this flavor infuser bottle. And I thought that that was really neat. I mean, these are probably 10 bucks anywhere else, if not more. So I guess you can just put whatever fruit um, you want in the middle and then whatever liquid on the outside and there you have your infuser. So I thought that was really neat and I thought that was a really great find. And two more trinket trays. I finally found the little donuts um, here is the pink one, which I just got to say, if I was going to eat a real donut, the pink is the only for me. That is my favorite. I have to have the pink icing donut. So I thought that was just really cute and perfect for me. I really want, um, I've seen people haul the blue one with the sprinkles as well. I really want that one, but they didn't have it. They only had this one and the chocolate. So I'm hoping that I can find the, um, blue sprinkle one as well and then I also found this one and it just says good vibes and it looks like your little um you know your little bubble what do you call it your texting bubble or talking bubble I'm not sure but anyways I just thought that was really cute and last but not least I found this really cute little um it's shrink art gems and keychains coloring kit and I just thought it looked super neat. I hadn't seen this before. It is from Nickelodeon. Um, so it just looks like you can make a lot of your own keychains um, and things like that. So let's see, it says it comes with one sheet, one design template, three keychains, two markers, and the instruction sheet. So you could actually make three. So I just thought that was really cute. Um, to give for a gift or like I said put in you know for stocking stuffers around the holidays um so I just love to have all this types of stuff laying around you know for a gift that you might um not remember is coming up or things like that so anyways that is all for today I feel like that was a lot I have a lot sitting down here on the floor so Anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Please comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Um, please give me uh, or please subscribe and we will see y'all next time. Bye.